welcome to Comic Confidential, a pop culture podcast. Today we are talking all things horror and celebration of Halloween. Plus we are going to cover a couple of the big news stories and so much more. I'm losing my voice. <laughs> I, was, I was just going to say, did your voice just yeah. break? I've reached adulthood right now on this podcast. Things name. happened. <laughs> my name's Cade Moore and today I'm joined by Troy Spinner. What up? And a very familiar voice. You may know her from the... Potterheads podcast. That's me. That's Amy Patterson. Hello. Welcome back. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. I just rocked up. I was like, let me in. Yeah. <laughs> we, we're, we're recording our bonus episode and Amy's just like kicked in the door. It's like, I'm here, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Get me a <on> mic. <laughs> Plug me in, baby. And we did. Against our better judgment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yep. Well, we'll see how that goes anyway. Uh, good to have you back. Thank you. Uh, welcome, welcome to uh, new people. Joining the show, who might not know who Amy is? Yeah, Amy is a listener favorite. She I'm is. just putting it out there. I can't help that I'm so popular. I was uh, I was showing Troy our our download stats mm. if we want to get nerdy. Well, no. I'm and, always and, and, ready to get nerdy. And uh, the last episode you were on has greatly succeeded all other episodes. Oh well. Wow. So, so basically, that either means <laughs> that you're super popular, <laughs> or people are just shit bored of us. <laughs> And just they want like someone. To spice it up. Yeah, they yeah. just want someone new. It's like just get anyone. <laughs> just Bring your like, dog in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Interview your dog. Just yeah. get the dog in here. Just have it like wagging its tail and barking and stuff. And you, you know, watch, those watch, those, watch those downloads. Watch those downloads spike. Uh, yeah, that's sad. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah. Really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, thanks, guys. <laughs> hey guys. Hey, mm. we got some news this week. Yes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna kick it off with. Let's talk some CW stuff. Okay, sure. Because we're, we're seeing we a lot to? of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> okay. absolutely. Right. I'm, I'm super excited. We're coming up to the CW crossover event. Yep. So, you know, Elseworlds. that's Elseworlds. Yep. And this week, man, we got to look at the black Superman suit. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, why? Why is he wearing it? Or yeah. why did we have to see it? <laughs> <laughs> no. Like, why is he wearing it? Do you think? Because like, uh, it's Elseworld. Like, maybe this is a different Superman. Then why would they go black suit? To know that he's evil no, that doesn't make sense <laughs> black means evil troy yeah black means superman's return from the dead well this could be superman returning from the dead on he another, didn't die on another world he could have uh, that's the thing when they do other worlds they're just like oh that's explained because it's on another world here's, yeah. here's what i think's happened okay right mm-hmm. so the cw have gone hey remember all that press that like the the dceu got when they brought Superman back, but they didn't bring him in a, into a black suit, and everyone wanted to see Henry Cavill in a black suit. Mm-hmm. Let's just put this guy in a black suit. Everyone's going to watch it. Well, they're not wrong, are they? Well, no, but <laughs> <laughs> but still, I like you know. Unless obviously we don't know what the context is. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but until we know the context, uh, I think it looks great. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Just, I'm just questioning, like, as to why they're doing it. And if it's not because he's returned from the dead, it's probably a waste of a black suit. Yeah. I feel like you could have done something else. You know what they should have done? What? Just like Bizarro Superman. That would have been pretty cool. Mm. That, what if he was the villain? Yeah. But just have it still as as, as Tyler Hoechlin. Yeah. But just have because him Bizarro. you can't get rid of him up. ever. No. Ever, ever. Uh, but ever, you can ever. you can just like mess his face up a bit. Yeah. 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 Do Smallville. Just put cracks in his face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just draw them with a pencil. You're oh, sweet. Yeah, that's about as far as they went Look, in uh, yes. Smallville. A Smallville exactly. was amazing, but it was also so shit. What I hated was, about that <laughs> is that that Bizarro Superman knew how to fly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, well, the, see, the thing, uh, the biggest takeaway that I always have from um, from Smallville realizing that it's a product of its time will always be Cyborg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Silver jacket. It's a guy in the hoodie. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a silver hoodie, and the Flash just wore a red hoodie. He was but just, a, he was just get a away with kid. that. Yeah, look, yeah. you know, I get it, but it's, it's a product of its time. Very mm-hmm. much so. Very much so. Uh, what now, do you think then? Uh, I dig it. Yeah, I really like it. Mm. Now, what I also like is I'm going to tell you two other things, Troy. Okay, we are going. We we are getting Stephen Amell in a Flash suit. Yeah. How awesome does this look? Do you like it? I like. Well, look, he I, looks ridiculous. He looks in ridiculous, it. but I actually love that he looks ridiculous. Yeah, because I'm like, haha, suck it, Arrow. <laughs> is that like? Is yeah? Is is it from? And we're getting Barry Allen as Arrow. And I think he looks cool. He looks fucking yes. badass. I'm just wondering though, like, have they brought in, like, ugh, I just I don't understand how it all works. Like, is this is Stephen Armel's Flash a Flash from like? Uh, let's say Earth 8 or something yeah Earth 8 where 
nobody can make good costumes. Maybe. <laughs> you know, but, that's, <laughs> but that's the new Flash costume that, that he's wearing. That can't be. No, it is. Like Barry Allen's. Yeah, Barry it. Allen's oh. new Flash costume. Are they CGIing it somehow? I've only seen a couple yeah. of photos. It looked it looks pretty average, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. That's, um, this is his new suit for the new season. Didn't okay. he get a lot of flack for it? Yeah, he did a little while back too. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was more just like a body image thing yeah. because he was you know so skinny and and all that sort of stuff. Oh, okay, no, no, it was for the suit. Was it? Yeah. Okay. I just remember briefly seeing something about it. Mm, so I totally don't dig it. I need to see this thing on the screen. Mm. Yeah. It's always hard when you get just like a little snapshot on a I don't know iPhone. Or yeah. Something. True. Yeah. True, but we also get to see John Wesley Ship's original Flash costume. Yeah, mm. and god damn it, man, I barred right up on this. <laughs> John, oh I can I cannot get enough of John Wesley Ship as the Flash. Yeah, so you know when he was um he was playing Jay. Yeah, now he's playing the original Flash. I'm just like, oh my god. So, but but wasn't his original Flash like he was Barry Allen, right? Mm. Yeah. So is he playing Barry Allen? As old Barry yeah. Allen? Yeah, as old Barry yeah. Allen. Okay. Oh, cool. From his from his Earth's Flash. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. <sighs> I, I rewatched that recently, and when I say recently, like within the last couple of years. Mm. Uh, Product of its time. <laughs> no, it, it holds up better than you'd think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, it like that suit, that suit looks good. I love I'll, the I'll suit. I'll give it that. Like the they, suit looks badass, and that's how the Flash is supposed to look like. Super jacked. It's because they yeah. didn't depend on things like CGI or anything like that. They were like, oh well. Let's just let's just chuck already jacked John Wesley Ship <laughs> yeah. into a suit that has muscle padding. Yeah, anyway. exactly. Yeah. Shoulder pads, you know, Everything. all of that. All of it. He looks like a bodybuilder, and that's how the Flash looks. The Flash doesn't look like a bodybuilder. Yes, he does. The Flash he has does never now. looked like a bodybuilder. <laughs> you are kidding yourself. Have you even read a Flash comic? He's got real tapered waist, ca- real yeah. big chest. Yeah, yeah. He's he like, looks like Superman. No, it doesn't. Yeah, he does. <laughs> My God, I understand that he probably doesn't look like what Grant Gustin would look like, <laughs> but uh, he doesn't look like a bodybuilder. You okay. are crazy, sir. Okay, this is a good segue. Okay. People who look like bodybuilders, <laughs> Bane and Gotham, doesn't look like a bodybuilder. <laughs> looks like uh, some sort of ridiculous, goddamn steampunk version of something yeah. that <laughs> isn't Bane. But you know what? I reckon this no. is the Bane that fits <laughs> that universe because it's kind of like a steampunk universe. It's just a punk <sighs> universe. Yeah, punk just, ass bitch universe. Yeah. I, I th- okay. Look, this this is one thing uh, that I cannot. You can't let it can't slide. get behind. Yeah, no, it doesn't look good. I got behind Tom Hardy's Bane, even though Tom Hardy's Bane, you know, like was some old timey British boxer guy. Yeah, <laughs> and, you know, all that sort of stuff, and completely, you know, off character. Uh, but I still got behind it um, just because it looked cool. Mm, he did, uh, look and cool. Tom Hardy had has that presence. Yeah, um, this is like he's got he's got hair. He's got spiked up hair. <laughs> he's got it's like like he's just come from a punk concert. He's like it's like it's emo steampunk Bane. Um, I feel like he's not stepped as off cool stage as that should be with Blink One Eighty Two. Yeah, no, even worse. It's like like Thirty Seconds to Mars or you know Green Day. What's a uh, what's that guy? Who's the guy that's um? No, it doesn't matter. Oh, good, now I'm good intrigued. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know they they did the 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 black parade. What were they called? Oh, my chemical romance. My chemical romance. Yes. Uh, and yeah. Yeah, it fits in with all those like stereotypes, doesn't he? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So anyway, it doesn't matter. Because the guy from My Chemical Romance is cool. What do you think created. his venom's gonna be? Huh? What do you think his venom's gonna be? Punk music. <laughs> he just drums a guitar. <laughs> yeah. It's um. Yeah. It's a, <laughs> a, a super rag chord. <laughs> Uh, and everyone's like, no, don't kill him. And he's just getting more jacked the more he plays his guitar, <laughs> yeah. singing emo lyrics. I can't even joke about it. <laughs> <laughs> because, too fresh. Because too I, just, fresh. I, I cannot like, get behind this. What have they this. done to him? Yeah. Um, but, hey, I mean, you know, you could be right. Like, Gotham has done over the years a lot of things wrong. Mm. Uh, yeah. But they've done a couple of things right. Uh, what that is, don't know. Um, <laughs> We'd have to really look. Yeah. But there are some things there. Harvey well, Bullock. He was all right. Oh, yeah, yeah, he did his job. Yeah. Um, Alfred, well, not really. You, you people seem to like Alfred. Yeah, Alfred's the best. Alfred's Give me an mobile. Alfred TV show. Oh. Wait, we are, we're getting that already. <laughs> Let's get an Alfred. Are we? Yeah, there's an Alfred prequel called oh. Pennyworth, which is... Actually, I did hear about that. <laughs> it's all about butler school, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just a guy who goes getting to butler school. Getting up the school. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, so it's all about, you know, it's like, uh, I don't know. I can't even... Can't you know? even talk. You're uh, so stressed. I'm so stressed about that Bane thing. 
well, anyway, look, it's probably going to be like a Downton Abbey. But, yeah, <laughs> exactly. But, All the drama that goes on in, <laughs> in Butler, Butler School. College. Alfred yeah. got who pregnant? Like, oh, oh, oh my god. god. Scandalous. <laughs> Can you believe he gave him a dessert spoon <gasps> instead of a teaspoon? <gasps> Blasphemy. Oh. That Pennyworth is going nowhere fast. <laughs> he is a reckless man. Get him out of here. <laughs> oh, wait. He's a war hero. Oh, uh, Keep he, him for a bit. <laughs> he might train the future Batman. <laughs> yeah. What's the that possibility Batman? No, and that's, uh, yeah, and like uh, Thomas Wayne's granddad comes along and says, ooh, you look like a... Uh, why, is he, why is he British? <laughs> uh, well, he could be. He could be. He you, you never know. And he's like, oh, if you've got Moxie, kid. Uh, I like Moxie. <laughs> Uh, come look after my family. Yeah. That's how the show's I'm going to go. leave them with you. Yeah. How old would he be if he's like great granddad's doing that? Uh, Alfred's old as. Yeah. Comics Alfred is yes. like in his 70s. Like True. 100. Mm. Like Dumbledore. Yeah. He's like Dumbledore. He never ate. He, he, but he's more like Crumbledore. Like yeah. he's, <laughs> he's that he's old. old. Yeah. Uh, anyway, let's move on. All yeah. right. So the last little bit of news I want to touch on, and this is probably going to trigger you more than anything, Troy. Uh, We've nothing, already triggered him about four times Nothing today. can trigger me more than Bane. We have a little triggered warning light in the studio here, and it is flashing like a bloody disco light. Yeah. Go. Mark Hamill has revealed how he died in Star Wars Episode Nine. Uh, eight? Eight. Yeah. He OD'd on the Force. Oh. What's your thoughts on that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> His face is just like... Um, just trying to process it. Yeah. So uh, he OD'd. So, so he, he went from... Okay, so we're, we're kind of led to believe that in Episode Nine... He went from not wanting to be a part of the force at all yes. mm-hmm. to going, Full like on. lining up a whole oh, line yeah. of force <laughs> and just going. Snorted it. <laughs> just snorting the whole thing. Yeah. And he's like, that was a bit too much. I Dead. overdid it. <laughs> I've made a mistake. Uh, yeah, I don't buy it. Yeah. Uh, what's Is there any more reasoning behind it than that? Or is yes. that literally all he said? So there's a little bit of context to it. So if, what he's coming out and said is, Luke OD'd on the force. He was clean, like saying, like, like he He's actually, using it like a drug. Yeah, totally. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, he referenced it like a drug. And, um, you know, he said he was clean from the force for so long and that when he came back to it, he hit it hard, you know. It was like night at the <laughs> Roxbury. It's not crack. <laughs> no, well, this is how they're describing it. And, this um, is how he's describing it. Mm. Who has a history of crack use? <laughs> maybe and he no was one's un- told him that this yeah. is how he died. He's just made it up. Like, yeah, maybe this is what's happened. But uh, yeah, apparently he uh, went from not using to using the force. Yeah, and it was just a bit too much for the old uh, body to take. Yeah. Well, I get like what he did was pretty like intense. Yeah, it was pretty extreme. You know, sort of force projecting himself onto yeah. another planet and. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Because, you know, the the whole theory of the Force is that, you know, there's supposed to be balance mm. and yeah. there's not many Force users at the moment. Right. So, you know, back in the there's day... There's one less now. Yeah, well, exactly. So, uh, Ray, better watch out if mm-hmm. this is, like, the genuine case of how the Force works. Yeah. Because, you know, you, you look back at earlier movies, there was plenty of Force users. So, mm. yeah. there's only so much Force to go around. Right. Or too much Force now. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you can just tap into unlimited... Tap yeah. Sources tap of, the, <laughs> well, of the force. <laughs> you you look at uh, Ray. You know she was able to get huge force abilities and next to no time at all when it took like Luke and Yoda. Well, yeah, a trip to the woods. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, look, I, I mean, it's Mark Hamill, so mm-hmm. I will take his word for it. Mm-hmm. He's my boy. He's my boy. He's my boy. Uh, so if that's what he um, thinks has happened, that's fine. Um, I, th- I guess. When you break it down into that sort of context, it kind of makes sense. I get it, mm. um, I, and I dig it too I because don't it like like the fact that we're now kind of referencing the force, a uh, drug, like some sort of drug that yeah. can be OD'd on. But mm. I like the the theory behind it that it's like it's dangerous to use. Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, sure. But uh, then I can see them like doing these storylines where it's like I can't use the force this one more time because I'll die. Yeah. Like my body knows if I use it one more time, Troy, that's it. Or like the whole thing like flips and it becomes a police procedural. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, it's like... Are you smuggling, two, are you smuggling, <laughs> smuggling force? force? As like Three two ounces po- of force <laughs> round. What right do you got in that boogie board bag? <laughs> <laughs> two cops go into like a like a dingy, broken down like force house. Yeah. And there's like people just like 
OD, they've just like used a bit of force. Yeah. And they're like, you know, on the ground on a couch and stuff. And so there's like people shaking in the corner. Like, instead of needles, it's like little lightsabers they're putting into their arms. That's not how the force works. Nah, Don't make it, it ridiculous. No, nah, I'm doing that. Don't make it ridiculous. <laughs> Don't make it ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go to this force house. Yeah. yeah so they're cooking all this force <laughs> in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. You go down to the, the swamps of Louisiana and there's like, oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's there. Yeah, excellent. Oh, well. uh, look, hey, it, <laughs> maybe they should do that. I don't know. <laughs> I'd probably watch it. Look, it's 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 interesting. Um, there's a lot of talk uh, in regards to the the set of um, episode nine as well. Um, in in so far as how everybody is having a really good time, everyone's happy that JJ everyone's on, is back on Force Troy. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they're all high on the Force. Uh, I don't know, but yeah, look, I'm I'm still interested to to see where episode nine goes. Mm. Uh, let's see if they do follow this any further. Let's see if this is something that Mark Hamill has been told. Uh, or if this is just something that he's made up for his own character that he's been a part of for however long. Mm. Uh, either way, it's Mark Hamill. So mm-hmm. it's basically gospel, right? Right. Right. <laughs> Did I scare you? Yeah. Uh, was uh, it scary? I, I no, I laughed. My, I, I weed my pants. <laughs> Did everyone wee their pants a bit? Yeah. Yep. Excellent. Okay, short break while we um, <laughs> everyone, fix ourselves everyone up. Everyone change pants. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this week, it's Halloween. Hell it's, yeah. It's Halloween week, uh, which is obviously uh, a massive thing here in Australia. It's the spookiest week of the year. <laughs> <laughs> it is. But it is, it, look, it is uh, the, the Halloween uh, happy uh, hometown happy. spectacular uh, or spooktacular as we like to call it this week. Spooktacular. Yeah. Ooh. As we get into a whole bunch of horror-related stuff. Now, we were initially, we were going to do a whole episode based around one thing. But I mm-hmm. thought, hey, you know what? It's Halloween. Let's get freaky. Uh, let's get spooky. Let's uh, get some other things that are horror-related. Uh, what's another word? Gory. Gory. Oh. Uh, Jumpy. Unnecessary Jumpy. nudity. Jumpy. Like we're on a trampoline, but <laughs> watching horror, horror movies. Does to me? Yeah. yeah, I like that. Uh, anyway. And I'm just basically, I've got a whole bunch of things mm-hmm. and we're going to talk about them. Uh, and I just want a quick shout out to uh, a lot of the people from the Facebook listener community for us here at Comic Confidential who did jump in. I don't have all your names present, but there's a lot of you. So thank you. You guys gave me these questions. And you I know who you are. Them. You know who you are. Um, mm-hmm. So I want to kick off with uh, who is your favorite horror villain? Now, I'm going to keep it movie-related, probably easier yeah. for this okay. one in particular. Uh, so, let's go. Favorite horror villain, Amy. I'm going to go... The mist. <laughs> the, the fog. Yes, how did you guess? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go with Michael Myers. Ah, okay. Yeah. okay. Um, Purely, I'll explain. I'll explain myself. Austin Powers. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> so scary. Continue now, okay? On to you. <laughs> um... I remember being like, we my pants scared yeah. of Ooh. him yeah. when I was younger because my mum told me not to watch Halloween and I didn't listen to her yep. and I watched Halloween and I shouldn't have watched Halloween. Right. So he's stuck in my head for a long, long time. Ah, oh, so that's like a traumatic yes, experience. Yes, And I did it to myself. I bought this upon myself. Yeah. yeah. But, yep, favourite horror villain. Holla. Ah. Holla. 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 my villains. <laughs> Where my villains at? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, cool. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Not bad. Uh, Kate, who you got? Uh, mine's Leatherface. Leatherface, Ooh. yeah. Uh, how how so? Uh, because the guy is like this almost unstoppable force. Wow, and he just almost, r- almost, <laughs> like and ridiculously. Yeah, mm. it's like comedically yeah. unstoppable. <laughs> yeah, which is like well, that's kind of what you want in a horror villain. It's like an, an unstoppable thing. And just shoot him in the face. Yeah, mm. but you can't. Right in his leather face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a it's bulletproof the the leather. Oh, I swear. I, did, yeah. I didn't know. I didn't yeah, know. N- most people don't. That's mm. that's quite okay if you you didn't. Yeah. So uh, you're welcome for that extra bit of knowledge Thank I've given you. you. Thank you so much. Uh, but he also has a chainsaw, so that's pretty rad. <laughs> I love chainsaws. Yeah, <laughs> two things I love most in life: bulletproof leather faces and chainsaws. <laughs> okay. How can I not choose leather face? <laughs> <laughs> true. <Quite>. True. Cade <laughs> 2018. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, excellent. What uh, about yourself, there, Troy? Uh, mine's easy. Mine, mine is Freddy Krueger. Oh uh, yeah, has been forever. Um, it's it, it, like I grew up watching those movies. Yeah, mm-hmm. and um, you know there was the the Nightmare on Elm Street TV series that came out. And I was a big fan of. Yeah. Uh, even though it was like it, it was flopped, so, didn't it? It flopped, and it was kind of like it was one of those things where it was very 
loosely based on like a Nightmare on Elm Street, even though like Robert Englund's Freddy Krueger was in it. Yeah, like couldn't you call into that show? Oh, I don't remember that. I'm Maybe. sure you could. But it was kind of it was almost like a Tales from the Crypty type of like it Maybe was just that's hosted what I'm by thinking. him. Yeah. And it's like, ooh, let's go back to, you know, this high school and see what these kids are doing yeah. or whatever. And then, you know, it'd be some weird sort of spooky show, but not necessarily involving him. Um, but sometimes it did. Yeah. So hey, it was good. Um, so easy, my favorite. I think he's got probably the best look overall. Yes, yes, he he is definitely one of the most menacing looking characters. Yeah. However, who would win in a fight between him and Edward Scissorhands? Oh, he uh, would. He would for sure. You sure? Edward Scissorhands would run. Edward Scissorhands a is Johnny Depp. So <laughs> fuck that guy. Yeah, but he's like <laughs> unkillable in every movie role. Who? Johnny, Johnny Depp. Depp. Yeah, but just think a, of that as Edward Scissorhands. All you got to do. Freddy Krueger's just going to go, hey, look, a hedge. And then he's going to go and he's going to like make some goddamn like beautiful sculpture yeah, out of it. And while he's doing that, Freddy Krueger's going to come up and prison shank him from behind <laughs> with his fingers. Wow. <laughs> so that's how I see that going. Fair enough. Yeah. Mm. To um, answer that question. There you go. <laughs> but it does bring me to my next question, mm. uh, which isn't actually on this. I'm just throwing this out there now. Oh, okay. The thing. Uh, what is the shittest horror weapon? Is it a kitchen knife? A machete, a chainsaw, or some finger gloves. <laughs> oh. Like finger knife gloves. Yeah. Finger knife yeah. Gloves. Well, it's obviously the kitchen knife. The screen mask guy has got it all wrong. Well, I was talking about I was talking about uh, Mike Myers. He roll, rolls around with a big kitchen knife as well. Oh, yeah. But see, like... The screen guy also took that from him. Mm. Yeah. But it's slightly longer knife. Yeah. Just yeah. slightly longer. Yeah. So I still think the knife is the... The least threatening. But what about in only different people's hands? Yeah, is exactly. In my hands, a chainsaw is threatening only to myself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have more harm of killing myself with this chainsaw <laughs> so than you. So I would never use a chainsaw. How do you turn this thing on? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I've got no idea. I'll be that guy who can never get it started. Oh, no, I flooded it. <laughs> yeah. just, just wait five minutes. I've used the electric chainsaw, thank you. Yeah, yeah see, <laughs> that's a movie I want to see. The Electric Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> he can only where, run the slight <laughs> yeah. distance. Like, it depends on how long his extension cord is, is no, as far no, as he can No, it gets people. better. It's solar powered, so he can only get you at daytime. Oh. It, swips okay. the, it, it flips the genre. Nice. So, you know, instead of the, the horror movies being at nighttime. nighttime, it's only during the day. Mm. Right. And it's also very 2018 in that it's environmentally exactly. friendly. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, at some point, you have to reference that there's only one or two generations of of like life left on Earth. Yeah, yeah because um, it's the next apocalypse. Yeah, and the leather face is actually uh, vegan leather. Yeah, oh, okay, oh. Yeah, okay, yeah. No animals yeah. were harmed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, excellent. I like that. That's good. The Except for the ones version. he then goes and kills when he's wearing the yeah. leather face. And yeah. like he's not a butcher anymore. He's a um, he he runs a nursery. <laughs> right. He's a farmer. Cool. He's, he runs a daycare center. Yeah. This sounds like the shittest <laughs> movie I've ever seen. It's going to scare the crap out of millennials. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so what did okay. we do? We did we all agree on kitchen knife? Yeah, yeah. Okay, excellent. Uh, favorite horror director? Who have you got? Okay, you go first. James Wan. James Wan. Yeah, yeah currently because the guys he just kind of seems to be kicking goal after goal f- with horror movies. Yeah, Aquaman does look pretty horrific. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> but, just uh, kidding. Just kidding. Jokes, guys. No, but seriously, he's uh his Conjuring series is like mm. kind of reinvented horror, I guess, franchises. Right. So um, I, I've I've enjoyed that series quite a lot, and um, I'm picking him for that reason. Interesting. And he yeah. also uh, did Saw. Yeah, as well, he did a couple Saw of with Lee Ooh, Wannell. I hate Saw. Yeah, it's uh, it really started that whole I guess gore porn. Mm, yeah, like gore. subgenre of um horror movies. Yeah, yeah, like Hostel and yeah, all that torture porny type. Yeah, of yeah, things, exactly. Yeah. Mm. You watch it and you're like. Ugh, I'm never Can't. going overseas. Yeah. Never going to Europe. Yeah. Or Eastern Europe anyway. Uh, shout out to all our Eastern European <laughs> listeners. We don't really believe it's like that over there. No. Uh, Amy? Um, so I said to you guys before we started recording that I would just say one to trigger you because I don't actually know a lot about horror directors. Sure. I was just going to give you a movie and you could tell me who the director was. Right. We can we can certainly try. So I'm just going to say uh, M. Night Shyamalan. Oh. Yep. <laughs> His work on The That's Village fun. was exquisite. <laughs> exquisite. <laughs> exquisite. Um, um, no, not really. But he did do Signs. Uh, he did do Signs. Which signs was, which is was great. one of the fucking scariest Bullshit. movies I've ever... Nah, no, I it, will 100% agree with you on that. Something about that movie, man, it, it gets just... to me. Yeah. Maybe, cause, maybe it's because I'm older than you two. Maybe. You two are kids. No. To me. No. I can um, tell you the very... I can tell you where I was and what I was doing when I watched Signs the very first time. And Water. 
No, water forget killed them. that. That's yeah, not the that scary part. Swing matter. away, Jack. No, <laughs> swing away. You swing away. It was ter- it was Amy, terrifying. When that alien pops out from no. behind that bush, no. uh, fuck that, that shit. That kids' Christmas party yeah. film. That's the uh, one. I'm done. No, even now, ooh, yeah, no. spooky. I had nightmares for years about signs. Oh, right. You know, that's like my my legitimate fear is like seeing an alien stick its leg out and run across ooh. a little. Alleyway. I'll just like straight up have a I heart attack and die. I couldn't walk through a cane farm paddock oh, for no. a long <laughs> no. time. Wasn't it corn? Whatever. Yeah, but you know, where same, we same live, it's cane. We don't grow <laughs> corn here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can't be scared in a, in a cane field. You don't know. They have just tall grass. Maybe, what, maybe if you just saw, what if you saw like one of them motherfuckers' legs in there? Because mm, they blend in, Troy. Yeah. Okay. And you're nah. going to board your house up and they kill your dogs. What if you looked outside and you saw it on your neighbor's roof, Amy? Nah. No. No. No, this, this I'd be like, the apocalypse is here. Yeah. So anyway, well. maybe I will stick with M. Night Show. Okay, sure. No, I was going to say who, I don't know who directed the Amityville Horror. Oh, God. Because that movie, I can probably actually. The original me, or the remake? Um, The remake is the one that I have seen. You tell okay. me yours and then I'll find it out. Uh, Well, mine's, mine's John Carpenter. Okay. Has to be. Uh, The Thing. Yeah. Come on now. Everyone loves the thing. Original? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? What uh, happened with the dog? Did he get away? Yeah, probably. Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely. Is the thing still out there? Yeah, definitely. I think it is. Yeah. Um, so John Carpenter, look, we're talking it. We're talking Halloween. Mm. Uh, the man is the man. He also did like heaps of other really cool stuff that weren't horror movies either. But no uh, one cares about no that. No one cares about those except they're really cool movies like, you know, Escape from New York and. Yeah. Um, that other one, Big Trouble in Little China and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, has to be John Carpenter for sure. Yeah, that's a good pick too. I think is probably one of the best horror movies of all time. We've all done pretty good picks on this. Yeah. Mm. Well done, team. Well, well done, you guys. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, best female lead in a horror movie. Oh, Amy, did you find oh, out who you? it was? Oh, yes. I actually, Walter Salas Walter. did the 2005. I don't actually Waldorf know. Waldorf Salad. Yep. <laughs> Waldorf Salad. Waldorf Salad. Directed. Oh, no, sorry. Andrew Douglas. Oh, Andy, ah, Dougie. Andy, Andy Duggo. The original one was someone we don't know. So there we go. Okay, cool. There you go. Excellent. Done. Uh, next. Sweet. Uh, what, what did I say was next? Uh, Best horror lead. female lead in a horror movie. Uh, well, I'm going to go back to my favorite villain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's Leatherface. And I really enjoyed Jessica Alba in... Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Wow, did you enjoy her so much that you forgot it was Jessica Biel? Jessica Biel. <laughs> I always get those two mixed up. Because their names are similar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Uh, she was really? great. Yeah. Jessica Biel is your best female lead in a horror movie. Absolutely, because she was only known really for um, Seventh Heaven yeah. before this. It was a so big change. It was a huge change for her. And she went like from this like real Christian family girl yeah. to this like absolute badass in this movie. Okay. And she, she absolutely kills it, like no pun intended. Sure. Mm-hmm. All right, that's cool. Uh, Amy? Hmm. Can I... Is Alien a horror movie? Yes. Uh, yeah. It's a sci-fi, sci-fi horror. horror. Good. I'm going to say Sigourney Weaver. Yeah, Ellen that's Ripley. a good pick. Cool. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. That's a really good she's, one. She is she the is epitome like, of like female lead. Absolutely. Badass. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's good. That's a really good one. Uh, I think a lot of people would lean towards... Um, like Jamie Lee Curtis mm, from Halloween, all that sort of stuff. I feel like that's an obvious choice. That's an though. obvious choice. So yeah. I'm going to say Nev Campbell from oh, Scream. Oh, yes. Ah, Take good, that. good yes, pick. Yes, that's a good one. Yeah. So uh, Nev Campbell, there's another one that was known for you know Party of Five, five? prior yeah. to that and then came out and uh, just got screamed. Screamed at. <laughs> screamed at. <laughs> screamed at for a whole Screamed at for like three movies. movies or something like that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so uh, 100% Nev Campbell. Um, the Earl, like Scream 1. Uh, it was fantastic. Scream 2 wasn't too bad. Mm. Can't remember the rest, really. I, I, Scream 2 was I feel shit. like Scream 1 and 2, and then it just kind of evolved into Scary Movie. Yes, Maybe. that's exactly what I was going because to say. Because I don't remember anything else. Okay, changing. <laughs> it's Anna Faris <laughs> yeah. in Scary Movie. That's the best female lead in a horror, <laughs> for sure. Um, it's it's very rare that you see, like I guess, a satire version of the original movie overtake it. Mm. Yeah. And then... As bad as the um, that franchise got, it honestly it blends in with it now. Yeah, I don't that's, know. That's true. I don't know where one ends and the other starts. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Um, uh, I would still say that scary movie was only good for one and two as well. Yeah, one and two. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's a four part series. And two, yeah, and then followed by a scary movie one and two. Yeah, it's a four parter. 
Uh, what's the um, what's the what's the scariest movie you've seen? Like to this day, House on a Haunted Hill. Oh, that is a spooky movie. That scared the crap out of me. Yeah, okay. that's that one where they get like all those people. But um, scary movie does a version of it. They go, they all go to the house and like the billionaire. And it's on a haunted them, hill. Yeah, yeah. Billionaire invites them all to the house and then they're stuck in the house. Mm. Cool, cool. What about you? One that I remember being quite scary, and it's based off a video game, and it, it surprised me. Doom. How sc- <laughs> yeah, it's Doom. <laughs> Doom starring a rock. Yeah. Um, so bad it was scary. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was Silent Hill. Oh, oh yeah. No, the, the movie was actually, like, quite spooky in the sense that, like, you know, you've got these two kind of, I guess, dimensions kind of merging. Yeah. And when you see that pyramid head guy, mm. and he, like, rips the skin off that person, it was mm. like, that's scary as shit, man. Yeah, that's fair. Um... I don't really remember that movie because I only saw it once. Yeah, because um, I thought it was—I thought it was crap. <laughs> Maybe I was wrong. Was I it better it, than I think it's. I think it's better than what you you might be remembering. Okay. Yeah, they did do a sequel, which wasn't as good, like Revelations or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Maybe I saw the sequel. Maybe you did see the sequel mm. because, anyway. like, the Silent Hill movie was like quite spooky in the sense, like, all the nurses that were in it as well had no faces. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, it's you like gotta have a face. I don't it, like that. It's like <laughs> their, their face is like, face, dude. Like how hard they'll is cut it? and they're like stitched together. Yeah, right. Mm-mm. Yeah, it's like genuinely spooky stuff. Okay, uh, I don't remember any of that. I kind of remember the big pyramid head guy with the the giant sword. That yeah, the big axe him. type of thing. Yeah, okay. But I don't know if I've just seen that. Like somewhere else. Maybe that clip. Yeah, yeah. but then I don't think I've seen the movie. Yeah, go check it out. Mm. Right, maybe I'll go back and check out Silent mm. Hill. Uh, mine is mine's a bit more old school than that. It's the original Exorcist. Ooh. Oh, um, yeah. Which I was um, unfortunate enough to see as a child. <laughs> oh. And yeah, it haunted me for years. Really? Yeah, like to the point that I got to a teenager uh, before I ever went and rewatched it. And I'm talking like a mid to late teens. Wow. <laughs> before I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. And then I finally went and I'm like, well, that wasn't that bad. What the hell was wrong with me? But as a kid, that traumatized me for the longest time. That's a good thing. question I'm just thinking of. What's a movie that you watched as a kid that scared the shit out of you that you've never watched again? Um, I think I've gone back and, and pretty much rewatched everything. But it would be for me The Exorcist mm. and The Evil Dead as well for the longest Evil time. Dead. The original? Yeah, um, maybe The Evil Dead. Yeah, and then I went back and, and watched it, and it's not that bad at it's all. It's almost comedic. Almost. To this. Evil to, Dead to 2 now. is, is oh, comedic. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you want to know what mine is? Yeah, yeah, yeah we do. I'm ashamed of it. Oh. <laughs> is The Grudge. Oh, really? Oh. I watched The Grudge. I wasn't a kid kid, but I was probably in high school, like yeah. early high school maybe yeah. when it came out. I could not watch the end of that movie, and I have never tried to watch it They're since. They're pretty spooky, I those sti- movies. I have to close my cupboards when I go to bed still. It's so <laughs> fresh in my mind that I think a small child is going to climb down. Did you watch the actual, the the Japanese version? No, or no. Did you watch the, the Sarah or is it Jessica Korean? Parker? It's one of them. Is that, is that Sarah who's Jessica Parker. No, no, no. Buffy. Yeah. Buffy. Sarah Michelle Gellar. That's one. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, Sarah. The much better <laughs> the Sarah, <laughs> two, two names <laughs> the after. The much better one. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's mine. Is that the one where the kid's like... Yes. Is, is that one? Don't do that noise. Yeah, that's that's pretty pretty spooky. Yeah, okay. And there's like big black eyes. Yeah. Ooh. Cool. What about The Ring? Oh, The Ring gave me a frightened, but... Gave me a frightened. Gave me a frightened. Gave me a Gave me, <laughs> gave me a, spook. Gave me a heck of fright. <laughs> <laughs> but I could probably watch that again. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> have you seen Have you seen any of the sequels to it then? No, none. Because isn't there one like where the sister comes as well mm-hmm. for the little boy? No, nah, I don't care. I'm no. not watching it. Can't remember. Mm, I'm pretty sure there is. <laughs> Do you guys have a favorite horror scene? Yes. Individual scene. What's yours then? Have you guys seen Ghost Ship? Uh, I have. Oh, but I don't it's remember it's it. such a long time ago. So there's a scene, and I, I like it because it's not scary, but it was really gory. Yeah. So there's a scene where the, like, the young girl, and I can't remember the movie in full detail, but she is so small, and all of these people are on the, the cruise ship that becomes the ghost ship. They run a wire straight across the deck, Ooh. and she's short enough that she doesn't get cut in half. Yeah, right. But everyone else around her gets cut straight through the guts. Damn, Ooh. how short is she? She's like, I think she's maybe five. Oh, oh okay. So like... Young, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that scene, I was like, "Damn!" Oh, this is like Amy's channeling me. Mm-hmm. Right. Mine's a getting cut in half scene oh, too. Okay, from so it's from the movie Thirteen Ghosts. Okay, Ooh. so 
In, Not have to you be seen... confused with 13 goats. Yeah, goats. Oh. <laughs> Completely different genres. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, also a really good movie. So about in, 13 goats. Yeah. yeah. Uh, won They're so all many awards. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all in a tree. Yeah. One tree only. Yeah, one tree. <laughs> yeah. Um, so in 13 Goats, there's this house that's made entirely of glass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's got like all this... Um, it's basically each sheet of glass has different spells on it. Mm. And it's trapped 13 ghosts within this house. Right. So the walls are always moving to, to change the spells to keep the ghosts contained. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So... As a as the glass walls are moving around, someone gets caught. Ooh, <laughs> damn! Straight down, like the length of the body. Yeah, oh, like long ways. Long God. ways. Oh, nah, that's yeah. worse. Yeah, damn. and cut in half and peels away. Oh, who was in that? Someone was in that that was famous. Um, it. Oh, there was someone quite famous. I have to use someone, a Google. Someone Google that yeah, while I um, I give you my favorite scene, which I almost can't really I remember give it had Scrappy Doo. No, Scrappy Doo. No, not Scrappy Doo. Uh, who's uh, who's in the Scooby Doo movie? Shaggy. It had Shaggy in it. Oh, that oh, guy. Matthew. Yeah. Yeah, the guy from Scream. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, cool. Can't remember his name. Um my favorite horror scene, I don't actually know if I can really mention it because it's very spoilery if you haven't seen the movie. It's from Cabin in the Woods. Oh, Troy, oh, that's that's like five years old, ten years old. That movie. Okay, well, tell if us. You, okay, well, if you haven't seen Cabin in the Woods, it's where they finally, basically, they they go down into the, um, they it's like the it's where the big corporation is that they that's oh, running the whole thing. Yes, and they go down and they've got all the like all the horror classic monsters. horror monsters of of everywhere everything yeah. like that you can possibly think of um kind of like trapped behind like glass doors and stuff like that in cells yeah and then they all get released how Ooh. good is that movie oh it's so good and then it's just non-stop carnage from from there on and it's you know you've just got every single monster that you can think of and some that you know the look of but mm. you just can't put like put the name to it or yeah anything like that. and they all just cut sick and um, you know, it's it's obviously quite a long scene. Like it's not just one individual yeah. thing, but that that whole ending to that movie, I think, is brilliant. Yeah, that's really good. And yeah. that movie was such a dark horse because you look at it, and I think it was one of Chris Hemsworth's first movies. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And you're like, uh, <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna be um, any good. Chris, why have you got a shirt on? Yeah. Like, well, why? I didn't know which way it was gonna go. Yeah, exactly. Because it was almost playing off to be almost comedic. Yeah. In some bits. Yeah. And then it's like, bam, turns on its head and it's like a kick-ass horror movie. Yeah, I really enjoy that movie. Uh, that scene is probably one of my favourites. If you haven't seen it and I've ruined it for you, uh, it's still probably not ruined. No way. You can know that and go in there knowing that this fucking badass scene's about to happen. Because there's just so much happening that you kind of like, you're trying to pick like what you're actually looking at. Yeah. And, and like we're talking about some like classic horror characters. I think Pinhead's in there. Yeah. Uh, there's like heaps of like real, like stuff that you'd know from like movies and stuff like that as Definitely. well. So yeah, it's all in there. So that would be one of my favorites. That's a really good pick. Yeah. Uh, well, what have you got? Did you figure it out? The... The famous guy. Oh, no. Amy, did you find him? No. Uh, the only one that came up was <laughs> Scrappy-Doo. Scrappy-Doo. Matthew Lillard. I Matthew yeah. Lillard, yeah. yeah. Uh, That's the only one who popped up. Tony Shalhoub? It's definitely not Tony Shalhoub <laughs> from uh, Monk. Monk. <laughs> That's a great show, though. That was a great show. Like is, show. It? is it? Uh, is it, though? Is it, though? Uh, hey, i got another question for you. Okay. Uh, which horror characters are really the good guys? None of them. Oh, come on, Amy. Oh, there has to be one. No, they're all mean. You reckon? Yeah. Especially I, the ones that kill animals. Okay. Well, that's fair. If you killed an animal, you're already ruled out of this. Right. Sure. So then hit me with him and I'll tell you yes okay. or no. Well, I'm going to say I'm going to say Jason. Okay. From oh, Friday the 13th. That's, that's taking, true. Taking care of naughty teenagers. Yeah, exactly. He all was them. wronged. He was wronged. He was wronged, for mm. starters. And then it's just like, hey, stop all that unnecessary fornicating, you teens. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna have. Do you know that you makes know, babies? Yeah, you're gonna get pregnant, and you're gonna have babies, and you're not gonna be ready for it. Uh, I'm here to help you. D- stop smoking that weed, kid. Yeah, mm. that that stuff's bad for you. Yeah, it has a machete instead. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. So, so I think Jason's really out there, just trying to trying to stop teens uh, from tripping over their own feet, even yeah. though they always trip over their own feet, and then usually cop a machete. Isn't mm. that the worst movie trope, though? 
What? Tripping over your own feet. Yeah. Like Scream happens all the time. Actually, I don't know if I'm now thinking of the scary movie scene. Where she <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you are. Where she <laughs> trips in the front lawn and she's like, oh, yeah. that is definitely a scary movie. <laughs> uh, I think though, like I've never had to run in like complete terror no. or yeah. like, fear for my own life. So no. maybe you do get super clumsy. You don't I, know. I don't know. That's like a, a fight or flight type of thing. Mm. And I feel like that's the third option of being a dumb fuck. <laughs> It's fight, flight, freeze, or dumb fuck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's four. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, but anyway, so... Uh, yeah, okay, I'll allow it. I don't think you killed any animals. Jason. So. I, I'm, I'm going to say Leatherface sure was also How? very much... Well, you see, he was taking out young people who were taking drugs. Was he? He was yeah. being the change he wanted to see. Yeah, exactly. Oh. <laughs> He's basically Nelson Mandela. Yep, yep. same person, wow. just with yeah. a mask. So you know he's he's he must have taken a page from Jason's book, right? Yeah, um, because but I don't think all those teens were fornicating or smoking weed. Oh, well, they were. They were also they driving were under the influence. Exactly, guilty by association, Troy. Well, that's uh, that's fair. So okay, that's all right. Yeah, mm. you got any now? No, I can't really think of any because in my head I'm just so frightened of them. <laughs> Maybe you could say Freddy Krueger then too. Yeah, he was similar doing sort the of to yeah. Yeah. Maybe he hey, was, he was, you know, teens are the real villains here. <laughs> That's <right>. Youths, <laughs> youths of God today, youths. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the teens are the real villains. What about in? I know what you did last summer, the hook guy. Yeah. Well, I suppose yeah, he was just basically like killing the teens again. Yeah. That killed his kid, Carrie. Yeah, there you go. Or. Is that, is that what happened? Mm, yes, but Carrie is just who come to my head. Oh. oh, yeah. She was really a good guy for a long time. Yeah. And then she snapped and went mental. Because all the, the mean girls from the school yep. were like being mean girls yeah. and stuff. But and not like mean girls. Yeah, like but not, not the cool not the, mean girls like from the mean the girls. actual yeah. mean yeah. girls. And then they like poured pig's blood on her or whatever. Yeah, yeah. disgusting. Yeah. Have More you seen the disgusting. remake of that? No. With um, Chloe Grace, Grace Moretz. Moretz. Mm. No. I haven't seen the remake. No. Either have I. I heard it wasn't that good. Mm. Well, thanks for bringing it up. I just wanted to ask <laughs> pointlessly. If, if someone else had uh, could back that up. So there you go. I if, found one. If you've seen it, let me know. So pretty much uh, all the horror movie characters are actually the good guys and teens are the villains. That's yes. what we've discovered here. Yeah. So um, I need to change my favourite horror villain to be... Villain, vi- yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got it. And to all our teenage listeners, hey, straight We're up fly, right? You <laughs> Otherwise, you know... <laughs> Don't fall asleep. They're coming for you. Stop smoking weed. Mm. <laughs> and unnecessarily fornicating. I'm just going to play the Jeepers Creepers sound. <laughs> walking past teenagers. <laughs> <now. laughs> uh, what is a, uh, what's a, what's a horror movie that everybody loves that you do not like? Or oh, uh, The Mist. Okay. Oh, I don't like The Mist either. Why? I've not seen it. No, um. <laughs> that doesn't count, Amy. No, I was watching it. I think it was more of a scene sense of where I was watching it. Okay, right. I was at someone else's house. I was doing all this stuff, and like it was, I was in and out, in and between of it, and yeah, I just didn't enjoy it. Right. Hmm. Okay. I, I will. I will watch it again though, and I will get back to you. Sure. Well, that was Cade's answer. Yeah, yeah. my <laughs> other answer would be. What do I? What do I? I see. My issue is I don't love horror movies okay. in the first sense because right. I don't like to be frightened. Yep. Um, oh, can I say Gremlins? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. That's, gremlins. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> People be- love Gremlins, and yeah. I hate Gremlins. That's another movie that I watched as a child that I've never watched again, and people know that I hate Gremlins. Yeah. That's fair. Mm. Terrible gremlins. opinion. So there you go. <laughs> Mist, Gremlins. What's yours? Uh, mine would be uh, Paranormal Activity. Oh, oh God can damn, I, I change my answer? Shit. No, because that's Troy's answer. Damn that's it. My answer. That's a, you, <laughs> I yeah, goddamn you, hate that shit. You really hate it, don't that's you? That's one I've actually not seen at That all. like became this like s- stupid goddamn horror cultural phenomenon for some goddamn reason. And that, that whole thing was just boring ass security camera, shitty footage, nighttime footage. Mm-hmm. Of nothing. Like Blair Witch Project Nothing style. for an entire movie and then one dude gets flung at the camera or something. Yeah. I don't even remember. It was so crap that I claimed it as parabormal slacktivity. <laughs> because copyright, trademark. Copy, yeah. Copyright, trademark, whenever that movie came out. Because it was goddamn awful. I've never seen a sequel. I'll never see a sequel. I've seen every single one. I hate the fact that they tried. I hate tried. Them, but I've seen every single one. I can't help it. Like, once I start a franchise, i got to... How many you can't are there? You can't get out. No, nah, I can't. A thousand. Mm. Nah. Nah. Is there, isn't there like four or five? 
There's like six. Oh, Jesus, oh, it's Christ. like Saw. But yeah. you know what I mean? Keep making them. Like how? Like and they tried to pass it off as like real as well. Yeah, you know I hate that. Like Blair Witch Project Teenagers. tried to do that. And it's like, come on now. Can we just put a public notice warning for Patreon listener? Nadine, yeah, those movies aren't real. They're not real. <laughs> Even if they say they are, they're not. They might be loosely based on some sort of true event that happened somewhere, but paranormal activity is only based on fucking nothing but paranormal boring shit. Paranormal activity. Yeah. However, that movie is probably a great example of an excellent return of investment. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like, let's just set up a couple of, like, fucking baby monitors. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have it in one room and we'll make a billion dollars. And then we'll and make four more. Happen. Yeah. All we need to do, let's just get one wire attached to this dude and we'll fling him at the camera at the end <laughs> in the last, like, ten seconds of the movie. And let's release shit. alternative endings so people go back and watch the different ones. Did they do that? Yeah. Oh, my fucking <sighs> God. That's a good answer then. Yeah. That sounds terrible. I've not watched a single one and I Having will never watch it. <laughs> you'd, you'd be too spooked. Nah. Uh, on the flip side of that, do you have a, a horror movie that you rate that isn't universally loved? Mm. This is harder. Yeah, yeah. this is really harder. hard. I feel like there's a lot of Stephen King movies that come to mind here. Okay. Uh, like Dreamcatchers. Oh, that's the name of it. Dreamcatchers. Yeah. Is that what it was okay. called? Where they were in the snow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's like... Anything can really happen. Mm. Right. So it's it's really hard to explain if you haven't seen it. Yeah. But effectively it has like the generic cast that seems to spread across Stephen King movies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's kind of like whatever you're scared of is like the bad thing. Okay. So it like manifests yeah. what you're afraid of. And was it was it actually a good like a good movie? I remember it being like I was like, ooh, quite spooky. Yeah. But <laughs> ooh. Yeah, I, I I'm pretty sure it's like kinda slam, like most Stephen King movies are. Yeah. Hmm. Who was in it? Anyone? Anyone oh. that I'd know? The you main don't one have to find out. It Thomas Thomas Jane. Oh, Thomas Jane. Who's like the Stephen King number one fanboy. Yeah. Also in the mist. Just want to go on the record. The Mist has one good scene. Yeah. And that's the ending. <laughs> okay. When truly credits heartbra- roll. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, the ending is truly heartbreaking. Oh, really? But everything in between there is like super C grade movie. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, but did you answer, Amy? No, I don't know if I can find one. Because I know a lot of them that are older, so they just don't have the same hype about them now. But I don't necessarily think that means people don't like them. Yeah, okay. If that makes sense. Yeah. But um, did people like Wrong Turn? Uh, I don't think so. Well, I like Wrong Turn. <laughs> okay. So there we go. There's but one. only the first one. I think there's like a thousand of them yeah. too. How many Wrong Turns can you take? <laughs> Seven, apparently. Well, you can take quite a few. <laughs> yeah, it's true. But yeah. I like That's the how you get lost. Turn. That's Google Maps. The one with the little demon deformed. Which one? The, the very first one where they like go... Elijah Dushku. Oh, yeah, it? yeah. That was... I like that movie, but I... I think I remember people not liking it. Yeah. So there cool. you go. Okay. Uh, mine is the seventh installment <laughs> into a franchise. <laughs> is it, is it uh, Freddy vs. Jason? It's not, uh, which I did not like. Oh, uh, I thought that would be. I thought that would be so much better than it was. There was so much hype around that movie. There was when so it, much hype, and it was like this is going to kick ass. Yeah, and it, it didn't. Did not. It did not. Uh, it was quite terrible. Mine is actually um, Friday the Thirteenth Part Seven. Oh, okay. I don't yeah. even. Where it's basically, uh, in essentially, space. Hey? <laughs> in space. It's in space. No, that's that's Jason X uh. or Ten. Um, so <laughs> that's also quite good. <laughs> I, did, I did not mind. I did not mind Jason X at all. It's a bit ridiculous, but um, it is what it is. No, Friday the Thirteenth Part Seven is. Uh, it's basically to to break it down. It's Jason. Uh, versus a teenage girl who has telekinetic powers. Oh wow! Yeah. Actually, I think I could get along. Yeah. Get on board of that. It's pretty sick. And that's all I'm going to say about it. Yeah, right. Because so, I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> Go out and see Friday the 13th Part 7. Okay. Um, but yeah, I can't remember what it's called. The New Blood, maybe? Oh. Part 7, The New Blood. <laughs> like, I don't know how these things can keep going for so long. But Friday the 13th Part 7. Go out and check it out. Jason, I think the, the young girl's name's Tina. And she's got some telekinetic powers. And they just, they like just bang on. Bang on about it. Yeah. <laughs> bang on about her powers the whole time. 
Uh, I got a, I've got a couple more. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, do you guys really read horror comics? No, no. not overly. Okay. Um, <laughs> so next. So what's your favourite horror <laughs> yeah, comic then, Troy? Oh, look, I, I've said this many, many times. Uh, when if people you say have Outcast. Outcast? No. Um, oh, I, I have one. Okay. The Walking Dead. Sure. Oh, sure. Yeah. Zombie stuff's horror. Yeah. Why not? Not a single zombie movie mentioned. Mm. There you go. This you think it's because time. it's a norm now? Yeah, well, it's because it's its own genre. Yeah, because there's horror say. and then there's zombie, zombie. movies. Yeah, yeah I would say it's it's its mm. own genre. Uh, the Clean Room. Okay. There you go. Clean Room, Gal Simone. Check it out. Oh, yeah, you've told me uh, about yeah, this. I've mentioned this many, many times. I think it only... At least thrice. <laughs> at least thrice. I think it only, uh, it only lasted for 16 or 17 issues. Okay. Something like that. But it was really good. Uh, so go check it out. Okay. Very nice. Uh, that's all I can say about that. Um... What else have we got? I think. Oh, do you guys have your own paranormal encounter? <gasps> this was an actual question. Was it really? Yeah. That's a good Ooh. one. Um, I'm going to go first. Yeah. Okay. Mine will be quick. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> do not, uh, have not ever, probably don't believe it's a thing. Uh, moving on to Kate. Yeah, look, it's pretty hard to like subscribe to the fact if you're going to have a paranormal encounter because... Mm. Your mind can just play so many tricks on you. Yeah. Yep. Like even thinking before about the spooky alien sticking its leg out, I was like, ooh. Yep. So, uh, Cuts down all the grass yeah. and yeah. trees in his house. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but dirt yeah. for as far as the eye can see. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna say probably not because mm. I reckon a lot of the time it's just your, your mind playing tricks on you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, do you want to plug... No. Any other podcast right now or <laughs> No, not yet. Okay. You good to go? Uh, um, Amy? I actually do have some that I now know weren't. Right. But at the time. Oh, see, that's a perfect example how yeah. the mind can trick you. Exactly. Because I was so I have there's four of us, four girls in my family. Yep. We lived in a massive old creaky two story house. Ooh, I'm already scared. And yeah, yeah right. Living the with same. four girls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway. Going back to Supernatural, actually, as we were talking about earlier, there's an episode that scared the shit out of me when I was however old I was where they have people who live in the walls. Like the kids have been banished because the parents were ashamed of them. Can we just take a second to appreciate that, like, when Supernatural started, Amy was dead set, like, pretty much a child. Yeah. That's crazy. That's insane. I was, like, early teens. Yeah. That's weird. Anyway. continue. Yeah, so these kids were, like, banished into the walls. They had to live off rats. They'd oh. never seen the sun, so they couldn't see. Like just see. into the crawl space? Yeah, like right. into the space between your walls. And like the, the old houses used to have like those little like pull-up elevators where yeah, you yeah. put food on the bottom of the Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, so we watched this and then I was, I was certain that there were children living in our walls. Yeah. And then I would find that my shit was moved. Uh, like oh. I would put something down in the cupboard and I'd open it and it wouldn't be there. And it would be moved. And to this day, my sister never owns up to it, but I'm like, <laughs> you were moving it. <laughs> and what? she's like, no, I wasn't moving it. So then I was like, oh, my God, there are actually children living in this house. And wow. then we moved out of that house and it never happened again. Really? And I was like, damn, if my sister has done this, she has set the scene well. But that's, yeah. yeah, that's good. Well, mm. that's I, I'll give you one paranormal encounter. And it only happened the other day in this house. Mm. And it's funny. Okay. okay. <laughs> so I went to the fridge. And yep. I was trying to open it and I dead set felt a force pushing back on it. I was like, no, you don't need to eat. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking out for you. They're the yeah. real good guys. Remember? Yeah, yeah. So I have a I have a friendly ghost in here, I think. Excellent. Mm, Casper. Let's go and on. I told Bonnie about this. Uh, and Bonnie's my wife. Mm. And she's like, Can you not tell me this shit? Because <laughs> I have to come out here late at night to feed the child. <laughs> Um, Yeah, so you've got a ghost that's stopping you from getting fat. Yeah, I have like the commando (laughs) as a ghost. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, so that was mine. I know to this day that it was not real. Yeah. But at the time I was... Could have been. I literally moved my bed away from the walls because I was like, (laughs) they're going to reach out and they're going to grab me. Right. (laughs) I was Uh, very easily scared as a child. (laughs) Still am. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, that's it. That's it. They're all the questions I've got. Uh, Yeah. Does anybody want to say anything else about any sort of horror related things before we wrap it up? Yeah. Signs is one of the scariest movies of all time, Troy, and I don't see how you don't. I'm on board with this. I can't. (laughs) Even Wayne from The Countdown agrees. Yeah. He's like, that movie's scary as shit, man. Okay. Well, 
Cade. There's like three Amy. against <laughs> three against one. Yeah. Wayne from the countdown. You're crazy. You're, I think Signs you're crazy. Shit. You're you're in denial, mate. Yeah. You're you've been scared, like you guys scentless. Been, you guys have been huffing for that goddamn force crack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a force high <laughs> you're right on now. A force high. But what's there not to love? It's got the family element. It's yep. scary as crap. There's aliens. Mel Gibson's in it. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. Has two things. Before not to he love. went like crazy and racist. Yeah, like it was. He was always <laughs> crazy and racist. He just hit it really he just well. Hit it really well. Mm. Uh, there's there's a couple of things. Uh, water. Killed the aliens. Mm. Shit. Uh, uh, no, water just hurt the aliens. Troy. And then they were like, we don't like being hurt. So we'll leave you guys to this shit planet. And so, oh, it's 90% water. We done fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't but we? that's also like, there's fire on Earth and fire hurts us. You don't see me going to another planet, you dickhead. <laughs> yeah, but like, at, at what point are you approaching this, like this planet and going, what's all that blue shit then? <laughs> like, <laughs> they don't have good eyesight. Yeah, you know, like, it's a lot of force What's crack. that then? And, like, how long are you on Earth before actually coming into contact with water? Because I reckon it's probably seconds. Especially if you live in tropical North Queensland. Exactly. Yeah, it's just, just moist. Just the humidity <laughs> you know, you just walk kill you. Outside and the air's moist and you're like, well, this hurts. Yep. This doesn't seem right. But what about the fear that you would have, like, that kid, he's got lots of problems. What is it? Asthma. Yeah. He's got asthma. Laying on the couch, you walk around the corner as this kid's parent and there's an alien standing over the top of him. What's a kid Scary. doing? Scary. He's yeah. like fucked up because he's got asthma and shit. Yeah, he can't breathe. He's like passing out. Yeah, and they don't have his medicine because the world's been overrun by scary aliens. And it's lucky he had asthma, Troy. Otherwise, he would have breathed in the deadly gas. And he would have died before Jacqueline Phoenix could smash him in the face with a bat. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix? Yeah, you know. I thought you said Jacqueline Phoenix. <laughs> like, is that... I've said... Is that I can't sister? say villain. I can't say a lot of things. <laughs> I feel like Jack. Uh, hola, hola, hola. Hola villains. Uh, look, I will say um, Swing Away Jack is probably one of the shittest things no, I've ever heard in my not. life. Um, it's, it's saved the world, Troy. Hmm. I do want to say this, though. Uh, I do feel like we are in some sort of kind of horror renaissance, mm. which oh, I think yes. is great. Yes, yeah. It too coming to cinemas next yeah, year. Like when you're talking about like um, Andy Muschietti's It, yes. uh, mm. that came out. It too, uh, The Quiet Place, have you seen that? Oh. Yes. Not Brilliant. Bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Um, uh, didn't you like it? I thought it would have been right up your alley. It's just a short oh, film. They don't talk a lot. Sorry, you like Signs. <laughs> <laughs> you think Signs is one of the greatest movies ever made. Uh, and, however, The the Quiet Place is meh. Yeah, it is. Do you know what wow. makes me sad is I was like, throughout this whole episode, been thinking about old scary yeah. movies. Quiet Place is brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Just, just I loved it. Don't forget that we are... Um, you know, we're, we're in, in a what, new age. Yeah, of we're horror in a new movies. age. Look, uh, the the brand new Halloween is out, and by mm-hmm. all reports, it, it's quite good as well. Cool. Um, so there's there's a lot of really good stuff coming out. So it's, it resets the timeline too. It does. Mm-hmm. So it's a really good time to be a horror fan, uh, I believe. There's also a lot of shit. Don't mm-hmm. get me wrong. They but that's all part of it. Did you ever watch the Poltergeist? <laughs> yeah, but that's <laughs> but that's all part of it. Like there'll always be. There'll always be, you know, shit movies that are coming out that, you know, and and that's part of the the appeal of horror as well. Absolutely, I there's nothing better to relax with than a B grade horror movie. Oh yeah, hmm. and you know you're gonna get some titties. Hmm. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? There's always gonna be titties. Full in, titties. Full, full titties. titties. Not boobies. Not boobies. Titties. titties. Uh, in in B grade horror movies. So that's always a good thing as well. Uh, but I, I just I do want to um, to throw it out there, and you know the, Co- the Conjuring and the Al- Annabelle series and all that sort of stuff. Uh, there's a lot of really good stuff happening mm. uh, right now in the world of horror. Damn guys, what a spooky episode! And if you thought it was a spectacular one, you like that? Mm. There's three things you can do <laughs> to help the show. That's right. Uh, you can go to iTunes and leave a five star rating and review. Uh, you can go to patreon.com forward slash comic con pod and sign up to become a patron to help support the show on a monthly basis from as little as one dollar. Or you can share the show around social media with your friends. Uh, that'd be great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't it? Hey guys, you like spooky stuff? Listen to this spooky episode. Yeah. Featuring Amy. Yeah, yeah. she's real spooky and loves gremlins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, do, do you guys like podcasts? <laughs> do, do you guys also like that movie Signs that one time that came out? <laughs> Well, you'll love this. Yeah. Have I got the thing for you? <laughs> I got the thing for you. Uh, yeah, that's a thing that happened. Uh, we'll be back next week. Uh, there is one of two things that are going to happen next week that we haven't quite figured out uh, in which order we're going to do them. So we're going to leave it blank 
for Ooh, now. It's a blank episode. It's a, a blank mystery. episode. Um, so that's going to happen <laughs> next week. So get into that. Uh, and in the meantime, you can join in on the conversation at various social media outlets. That is on Facebook. Simply search Comic Confidential Podcast. We also have a listener community where you can join over 300 other great listeners of the show. Simply search Comic Confidential Listener Community. Answer one question and you're in, baby. Yeah. We also have an Instagram and Twitter. That's both at Comic Con Pod. Hit us up. Yep. Just say, hey, guys. Hold signs on. is great. Yeah, let us know how much you love signs. Uh, by Twitter. the way, uh, shout out to Jason Capone Chong, who last week did hit us up on both. Oh, he did. Uh, so we now owe that kid a sticker. Yep. So coming, that's coming, coming your, your way, way, champ. Oh, yeah. With a signed edition of Signs. Oh, <laughs> oh God. It's just, <laughs> it's just a sign Not of really. Amy holding up the movie yeah. signs. I yeah. like that. Yeah. And we also have a website, comiconpod.com, past episodes, future, future episodes and everything. In between, I tripped over myself there, Troy. That's right. It's happened many times and to me. So many. And you know what? what? You can check out the other shows on the network at that website, too. Indeed. Indeed. Uh, hey, mm. Amy, yeah. anything you want to plug? Um, What's happening? I want to plug... Uh, Potterheads, of course. Yeah. yeah. Someone um, someone says all the episodes are going to drop very soon. Yes. <laughs> yeah, right. Because that's the way to do it, DC Titans. Yeah, you bitches. Yeah, yeah. none of this week-to-week shit. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that will be dropping very soon. Cool. We're in the middle of, uh, well, not really the middle. We're close to the end now. Oh, Finishing damn. all of that off. So, keep your ears peeled for that. Nice. Uh, thanks for joining us that's all right. in the studio. Kate, yeah. anything before um, I wrap it up? New podcast coming out. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Taking taking callers now. It's, it's actually a good good episode to to give it a shout out. Is uh, it's called Believe. Ooh. Mm. And it's all about people's spooky experiences. So Excellent. If you have a spooky experience, check out the show notes and uh, see how you can get in contact to to share your your spookiness around. Mm. Yeah. It sounds good. <laughs> um, <laughs> myself, I have nothing. Oh. Uh, I got nothing going on. No. Oh. This is my only geek. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is all I have. We'll, we'll, we'll get you another podcast, Troy. <laughs> uh, but that's it. Thanks for listening. As always, I'm Troy. I'm Cade. And I'm Amy. And this has been Comic Confidential, a pop culture podcast. Cheers. Peace. Peace squared. Oh, you oh. should have said holla. Oh, <laughs> damn it. I missed a golden opportunity. Uh. Holla. Yeah. Uh, Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> Can we call this episode Halloween? Halloween. Halloweeny. Yeah. Oh. And it's just a dog going like this. Yeah. Oh. This. What? <laughs> Dressed as a pumpkin. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Or, so, Kate, here's... Or wait, wait, wait. It's a sausage dog in a hot dog barn. <gasps> here's the yeah. one job you have this week. No. Nah. Uh, you've <laughs> got to find a picture of a dog. <laughs> Uh, it's a sausage dog. You've got to make it do the West Side fingers. Yeah, apparently, and we're like blang blang. So it's like holla, like yeah. Snoop Dogg. Uh, oh, yeah. His name's right? Snoop. Is he a rough rider? Uh, rough rider. Oh, Troy. How about that movie Signs? <laughs> <laughs> so good. Fabulous. Oh man, I tell I, you what. If you're constipated, you have to watch the movie Signs because you're just straight up shit yourself. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Uh, I'm gonna. I am a dead set. What is wrong with I'm you? I'm gonna rewatch it. Yeah, yep. because. I swear to God, it's a piece of shit. Nah, you're, you're like, nah, it's too spooky, so I'm going to pretend oh, that I'm like, I've, I've never watched it. So. I hate aliens. Yeah, oh, oh, I read online that they're scared of water, so. Uh, <laughs> and I, I am too, so I can't. <laughs> oh, that, that, hey, uh, that's okay. Jessica Elba is my favorite female yeah. lead in the movie that I love the most. Yeah. <sighs> Come on, man. Hey, man, you know me. I yeah, can't. Yeah, I, I don't seen know the names. <laughs> We're not a names yeah, people here. I haven't even here. seen that goddamn movie. Hey, if there's one thing Comic Confidential is known for, and that's for its casting. Oh, yeah. 100%. And accurate fact-checked information. Yeah. <laughs> and ODing, ODing on the force. Oh, yeah. We did that on a weekly. Oh, I'm going to go snort me some you force. Want, you want some force crack? You got some force crack? Yeah, man. It's in the fridge. The ghost doesn't want us to eat it. Papa needs his crack. <laughs> Papa needs his force crack. <laughs> If you love this podcast, then head over to ComicConPod.com to check out the other incredible shows on our network. Whether you love comedy, pop culture, or movie and TV reviews, CC Radio has got you covered. 